I started home brewing uh, when I was a student, um, basically with a, a tin of malt extract and some yeast, um, the way that a lot of home brewers would start. Uh, but very quickly, I got interested in how can I make this beer better? Uh, and so over the course of quite a few years, I tried various things uh, in the, the shed or the garage, wherever I was living, and uh, including when we lived in Germany, and tried different styles of beer. Um, and eventually got to a stage where I was producing some quite reasonable beer and I was supplying it to community events and uh, birthday parties of friends and things like that. And they were telling me, that this is not bad beer. I mean, I'd actually be prepared to pay some money for this in a pub. So I suppose that, that gave me the germ of an idea. And when I got the opportunity for voluntary redundancy from the, um, my career in IT, I took the voluntary redundancy and sank the money into this place and turned my hobby into my livelihood. I started Jaw Brew in 2014 along with my wife Alison and we found this, this unit here and set up uh, the tanks and the office and the cauldron over the first six months uh, and then we started brewing in July 2014. So we're about 18 months down the line for pr beer production. The craft beer revolution in England is really well on and there are uh, a large number of breweries in England. There are also quite a few springing up in Scotland, particularly around Edinburgh and the east. There are a few in the west, but there wasn't a craft ale or craft beer producer in Glasgow. Um, there's the, the big producers of beer, but nothing small, independent, family run. So we decided that this was the perfect place to, to start this kind of beer production and fill that niche for a craft beer producer based in Glasgow and selling to the local market. Well, the good thing about well working for BrewDog uh, is apart from the great beer that we make, um, we also have our guest lines, so we get the opportunity to get in great craft beer. And the more breweries that are starting up and making really good beer is a good thing for us because we've got guest lines as well as uh, our own stuff. Um, we've recently had stuff from Tempest, from Fallon, um, Fine Ales. So to have that stuff so close, nice fresh beer, nice good Scottish beer, uh, it's really exciting because it's um, even though we've got a lot of American stuff coming through, um, to actually have stuff that's basically just brewed put in the back of a van and right here and we can sell it and shout about it. It's really exciting. Uh, we launched at the Glasgow Real Ale Festival in June of uh, 2014 and then we spoke to the landlords who came to uh, attend that festival and said we're going to have a beer, uh, you sell beer, can we work together? So a lot of them took on our beer and we've got um, known from that and the more people know our beer, they ask for it in their local pubs, and the landlords, you know, uh, buy it from us and uh, supply them. Starting off with, the, with the, the pale ale and the golden ale, we knew we would need a dark ale because you, you need a, a balanced portfolio, if you like. Um, and so we, we brewed the, the dark ale in the November of 2014. Um, that immediately uh, won an award, as did Drift in the um, All Scotland competition. Place I've worked before, I was always frustrated by what beer wasn't available. You know, it was we'd have nine lines of lager uh, and not much else, maybe a line of Guinness. So um, I think you know, you come here if you're feeling like a sour beer or you're feeling like something darker. You've seen it imperial. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to, you know, tick whatever box you fancy going into. I think Brewdog's important in the craft beer scene in the UK. Um, I think uh, with the advent of like Punk IPA, it definitely started something. Uh, a lot of people, even, even as a, even as people that are anti Brewdog, it's definitely a, you know Brewdog's like a sounding board uh, for the craft beer scene. Some people are making great beer in defiance of Brewdog, and uh, you know the fact is we are you know we're canning our beer because we think it's really good for the beer. Um, other breweries are sort of saying, hey, canning's not the way forward. We're gonna invest in bottling. And uh, so it's a vibrant scene. And even uh, I think BrewDog is 
there's loads of fans, there's loads of breweries that are influenced. I, I think, uh, I'm not going to name names, but I think people are making a lot of uh, American style IPAs uh, and they've seen that Brewdog have made it possible to make brilliant um, American style IPAs in the UK. Um, but yeah, even the sort of people kicking against us, I think it's just, it just adds to the sort of interest of the craft beer scene in the, in the country. I think we use uh, better quality ingredients. We are not driven by, uh, totally by cost. Uh, I think you'll find that some of the larger breweries, they are run by people who have always got the eye on the, on the bottom line and the margin. Well, we want to make money, yes, but we are not going to sacrifice any quality in the pursuit of that. We will always use the, the top quality Marisotta malt. We will use uh, the best hops we can buy and we will not try and get every last drop out of the uh, every tank. We will say, you know, let's make sure that, you know, we get all the good beer out of the tank, but we will not sort of squeeze and filter the last little bit um, because that can introduce some of the, the sediment or, or off flavours into the beer. So, so I think it's attention to detail as much as anything and not trying to drive everything by the, the bottom line. I'm a big believer in uh, high tide raises all boats. Um, we're sort of we're near to some great bars like In Deep. It's very nearby, you know, but it's like just another great place to go and drink after you finish shift here. It's catering for all the people that are into really good beer. Um, there's going to be a six degrees north uh, opening up in the West End fairly soon as well. So excited about that. So um, it's yeah, instead of looking at it as a big competition, it's just getting good beer to people and sort of fighting that you've got to remember that most like there's so there's thousands of licensed places in Glasgow and have you ever been stuck in town just trying to work wonder where to get a good pint you know uh, and you're so limited so uh, I think it's yeah it's a really good thing for the for the for the city. Uh,